What's going on guys? Welcome back to Swish Life Garage. I'm back at it with the 2000 Civic and today there's been something on my mind that I've been wanting to clean out on the Honda. Without taking any time, let's go ahead and get this car jacked up on one side, put some jack stands, open up the hood, and take a look at it. Boom man, we got the thing jacked up, got it on some jack stands, and now we can start taking a look at it. Now what I've been wanting to work on is the PCV system. Just because of this, check this out see this hose and see how it's just been like it looks like it been trying to suck a milkshake through a straw and so definitely I'm going to be changing out this hose more than likely the PCV valve is clogged up and that's why it's like this and the PCV valve is actually just down here just down on the intake if you follow that hose but you have to get it from the bottom side but let me go ahead down below and we'll take a look at it now here down below you can see the oil filter and just to the right of that is going to be the PCV box it's a black box going to be having to take off this bracket for the engine to the intake there's going to be like two 12s up there and then two 12s over here but that's going to be the first thing I'm going to have to take off Let's go ahead and get at it and see how hard it is to remove. All right, so the bolts are off. I'm trying to get these plugs off of here. I just noticed that this bracket is broken. That was holding my exhaust together. It's all nasty here, so I'm gonna be taking that off. Might as well take off these 212 since it has a little piece of the bracket. It's not doing anything. So the bracket is just kind of pushed out of the way right over here. And so now I'm going to try to get to this black box, PCV box. There's a 10 mil right there, that connects it to the block. There's a 10 mil right over here that connects the wiring to the uh, black box. And there should be another like 10 mil up on top. But of course I'm gonna go ahead and try to get these two easier ones before I start to remove that top one up there. So let me go ahead and get at this. So there's two 10 mils, the one right there and the one for the wire harness, those are taken off. But if you guys look above over here, you see my extension. I got two little like mini extensions on a 10 mil. That's where the other 10 mil is going to be. You're going to be able to try to fill it with your hand. It's next to the tab. There's like a tab, you just kind of fill around with the tab. And I got my socket on there on that 10 mil. Now I'm going to try to put my ratchet or my breaker bar on there to get that one out. Got that 10 mil out. I just wiggled the black box back and forth and it popped out of the block. So I got to get up on top, take off the hose that connects to the intake manifold and try to pull this thing on down. I did remove the oil filter in order to give me more room to bring out the uh, black box there, the breather box. And also on the wire harness, I tried to, I had to push as far back as I can because of the water hose right there that runs in the back of the block. That's kind of blocking it from uh, the black box from coming all the way down since it's kind of curved around it, it's built around it. So that's what it took to bring it on out. One 10 mil was right here and the other 10 mil was in the back of here. So if you're able to find this tab and just kind of feel your way to that 10 mil, that's probably going to be the easiest. Here's the PCV valve right here, the blue thing. 
I'm going to be taking that off. Of course, if you take it off inside of the car, it probably makes it a tad bit easier to help bring the box out. But here's what I mean. This is built around that water hose, so you got to push it far back in order to get away from it and bring it on down. So first thing I'm going to do is clean this on up. Here's that PCV hose. Give it a little shake. Don't hear anything, so definitely this is bad. So that is trash. All right, so gave it a scrub on the outside. I'm pretty sure that's gonna be pretty good. Of course, I still need to wipe it down. Uh, I did see someone on YouTube clean the inside of the box and they just put some like mineral spirits inside of here, shake it on up until it starts to come out clean. So that's basically what I'm gonna be doing as well, just to help clean it on up. This has almost 200,000 miles on it, so definitely I think it needs to be cleaned. All right, so I shook it around a few times, put the mineral spirits in there. If you guys could see all that crud, all that carbon that's been in there, it's just real kind of cakey, kind of flaky. So you could do that a couple more, more times in order to try to get it as clean as you can. I'm gonna go ahead and spray some water up in here, try to get some pressure and just really, really clean that on up. After that, I'm gonna let it dry and hit it with a heat gun before I install it just to make sure that everything is dry and safe to be installed onto the engine because definitely don't want any sort of chemicals or water being mixed into the oil into the intake anything like that. It didn't really take much I got the water hose sprayed it on through both sides make sure all dirt was coming out I just kind of put my hand there see how much dirt was coming out and then you're able to take a look inside if you're with the sun able to see inside to see if it's still dirty or not but I could see clear metal and so it's pretty clean in my opinion and this is ready to go this is all scrubbed down I still have the old o-ring here but of course I have some new Honda parts right here and a PCV valve from AutoZone the PCV valve that I purchased part number PCV 1192 DL this was like four bucks and here it is right here give it a shake that's how it should sound which is real easily just get this pressed on in into the PCB box and that is good to go next I have the o-ring here that goes into the block part number 91324 PC6000 new o-ring right here just go ahead and take off this old one cut that old one right off pretty hard throw this new one right on so here we are, this is how I'm going to be installing the PCV box, the breather box, without the hose, just so it makes it a little bit easier. But I did purchase a new hose right here, part number 17131 P2J000, brand new PCV hose, and this hose feels a whole lot better, man. I mean, this is real pliable, real bendable, instead of this one. I mean, it's bendable but it's just not the same so this is going to be trash and uh, this is going to be the new one we'll install after I put it in the box everything is good to go kind of cleaned up a little bit as much as I could just a tiny bit wasn't too dirty so I'm going to try to stick this on up in there hopefully it's not too hard That wire harness back. That's probably the hardest part, man. There it goes. Kind of put a little pressure. Align the PCV into the block. There it is, man. So now let me try to get the 10 mil bolts.
All right, so the PCV is tightened up. I got the lower bolt, the bolt for the wire harness, and the upper bolt. The upper bolt is probably the hardest. I just had to put my fingers up in there, try to direct the uh, socket with the bolt on there, and then finally just started to get it started with my fingers. So next thing I'm gonna do is put on that PCV hose, connect it to the PCV valve down here. Connected the PCV hose to the PCV valve. And also I did already connect it up on the intake and that's pretty easy. But it was a little bit difficult trying to get this started onto that PCV valve. But I mean, it's not impossible obviously, but I did get that on. So the PCV breather, breather box is tightly installed on here. Got the uh, wire harness installed, the upper bolt. Again, just try to align it with your fingers, trying to get it up on in there and get it started. The uh, hose valve is finished up. So next I'm gonna be putting back on the uh, oil filter and then as well put on this bracket for the intake. Probably just give that a quick little wipe down. And then we should be finished on up. So let me go ahead and put this in. Everything is tightened down, tightening up that bracket for the intake connecting to the block. And uh, you can see here the brand new hose going down to that PCV. But to me, for taking it off, it was a little bit harder in my head than actually doing it in person. So that is fixed up. It could finally be off my mind and move on to some other things that the car needs. Now, of course, I did leave this bracket off of the exhaust since this is broken. And I did hear it vibrate. I was kind of wondering what that was. So I'm leaving that off of there. I might weld it up later and put it back on. So that's going to be it for working on the breather box and the PCV and the hose. So again, let me know if you have any questions down below. Like this video, subscribe to the channel. I'm catching on the next one.